So we are playing the first Final Fantasy right now. And uh, about, I don't know, a month ago, Square Enix released Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 on Steam. And on mobile, like I said, like I already complained a little bit about. And um, they did these pixel remasters. So Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 were originally on the regular Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. That's 8-bit graphics. Uh, I played Final Fantasy 1 when it came out. I was uh, 5 years old. I played 10 minutes of it. And then I got stuck because I really couldn't read very well. And... Um, then I gave up forever. Fortunately, my dad and I just rented it. Fast forward a couple of years later, and I played Final Fantasy IV in America, Final Fantasy II, um, for the first time, rented it, fell in love with the game, and I uh, ended up buying it, and, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Years later, I went back to play Final Fantasy I, and it, it was essentially unplayable um, because it, it had not really been ported really well, and... Um, Eventually, I got it for, uh, gosh, what was it? The Game Boy Advance, I think. And then I got a, uh, a uh, PlayStation, I think Origins, compilation disc that had Final Fantasy 1 in it, maybe 2. I, anyway, I, I ended up playing an updated version. But the updated version of Final Fantasy 1 kind of took away some of the, the charm of the original pixel <laughs> it is syllabus day all over again but i um I, what i was saying um you know it lost the charm of the original pixels um and, and so when i heard about the pixel remaster I, what a roller coaster of emotions they show the trailer of final fantasy one two three then a little bit of four five and six pixel remaster is this beautiful new art style remastered um uh, or uh, more orchestral arrangements of the songs and I just like lose it and then the screen shows up and it says for steam and mobile and my heart just sank I mean you want to talk about like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows uh, but now I've I've um, I've gotten uh, these these games on uh, steam and we are going to start them out tonight so anyway that's enough Let, let's go ahead and get into it um, we are gonna vibe on the music uh, we are gonna look at the the graphics and all that stuff, but y'all y'all are in for it with me because this is my favorite game series ever. It's been years since I played the original Final Fantasy, uh, so we we gonna we gonna just enjoy this. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, this is so much more dramatic. Oh, there it is. The people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. Fisher, Cecil, Leia, and Vivi. <laughs> four young travelers did at last appear. You guys, this music. Whew. Here's our, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. This bridge is where I gave up when I was five years old. Never mind, I, I, I couldn't figure out that we had to go save. First battle, first boss fight. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. But dude, we got these crystal passports. The king's lap dogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? We're the warriors of light. That's what Pink Haired Prompto said. You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well, I, Garland, will knock you all down. <laughs> Classic. That was a great translation from the original. Left behind like all of Rox's friends. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, this is hype. Let's go. Uh, let's protect Vivi. And he looks susceptible to... He's a dude, so fire. This boss music, my gosh. Ow. Uh, we will continue to protect the weak. Oh, let's try some thunder this time. Nice. Good job, Vivi. Man, Vivi does some damage. What? I will knock you all down. Yeah, right. God, that was... Take that, five-year-old Wade. All right, Sarah. We got you, girl. I have come to rescue you. Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Words could never be enough to thank you. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. Oh yeah, he was the king's knight. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please accompany me to Castle Cornelia. Dope. What about all these bats and that weird purple orb? Mm. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. Yeah, no doubt, we are the warriors of light. All right, prophecy, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. All right. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's hit the town and then we're gonna... Oh. Ah, cutscene. My dudes! We're to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. Now that's really interesting. Because they're they're saying that they are contributing to the fulfillment of this future. Now that, that's a that's a whole lesson right there. We're, we're to do our part to fulfill the prophecy. Mm. have to do with the prophecy? Oh, the workers finally asked. The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. And now they're leaving. Oh, the bridge. Oh my god.
And so their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once, long ago, held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. Mmm, this is good. Honestly, the game would could end there, and I'd be like, 10 out of 10. That's beautiful. Uh, the slide tile game for Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, Sam. Uh, the slide tile game was originally in Final Fantasy I to that screen, and uh, I was telling them earlier, I got a lot. Uh, I, I, as a five-year-old playing it, I just got, like, lost uh, in that game, because I was like, if I have to beat these numbers, I'll never beat this game. Five-year-old Wade was overwhelmed. Matoya's cave? I forgot this was here. Oh, this song. Oh, Matoya! My eye, my eye. I can't see a blasted thing without my crystal eye. Well, we gonna... Who could have stolen it from me? Well, I'll tell you who it was. Garland. Oh. Provoka. Oh, dodge me. Please help us. Oh my gosh, everybody needs some help. Everybody. Uh, this guy looks like he's up to no good. Those blasted pirates, they're running around looting and pillaging like they own the place. Like, in the inn? Am I about to fight somebody in the inn? No, she, that is not proper work attire. Bix Bikineers. Yeah, we're making trouble with Bix Bikineers. You've got cannonballs of steel to be taken on the great pirate Bic. Keel all. Keel all them, boys. Alright, well. I guess we're too rugged for good grammar. There's so freaking many of them! Oh, and I didn't even go. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Okay. One every time. Take that, boys. I'd be most sorry, young masters. I'll be making no more fuss, I swear. I want you to take me ship for your troubles. We got a boat! Yeah, I forgive an old pirate, bro. And now we a bunch of pirates. I've had myself a change of hearts because you saw your men slaughtered in front of you. That's right. I plan to buckle down and be the hardest worker in town. You believe me, don't you? Sure. Because of you, we needn't fear the pirates anymore. Yeah, well, we literally slaughtered nine of them, so. Yes, a town. My people, Elfheim. I just don't know what to do. Please help our prince. Does he have a mystic key, though? Ah, gravestones. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. Ah, here lies Link. 
Shout out to Legend of Zelda right there in the Elven Village. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Wish I could take old Link to the priest, get him resurrected. He could take uh, homeboy Vivi, Vivi's spot. Elven Castle. Uh, I like this open concept castle we got going on here. Oh, this must be the boy. Astos is cursed for five years now. There must be a concoction that can arouse the one who sleeps, but where? I bet we're going to have to go kill Astos. Hey. I've heard rumors of a witch who can brew any potion you can imagine. Matoya. Of course. Which means we're probably going to have to go find her eyeball. And who is this? The Western Keep. Kiki. Oh, I love this music. So eerie. I was tricked by Astos, king of the Dark Elves, and now my castle has fallen into ruin. If I could only retrieve the crown from the Marsh Cave, I would be able to restore my castle. Might you bring me the crown? Oh, man. He was tricked, and his son is asleep because of the Dark Elves' spell. And I wonder if these bats are like his subjects. Yeah, this is the spooky castle that has to be restored. Oh man, that's such a sad story. Tricked by the elf, uh, secured with the mystic key. Okay, well we are about to find the marsh cave. God, that song was so good. I'll be honest, I do not remember like anything about this game except the beginning and the end of it. Crazy. Crazy. Like, I do not remember this stuff. Kiki! That's the way the bats sound to me. Kiki! Um... This is... This is much more difficult than I it just let's keep going I have discovered the run button everyone how deep is this cave ah oh, Fisher sorry buddy Oh my gosh! Oh. Cautious. So, we are gonna make a quick trip. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We cannot. We cannot. Oh dang it, I didn't press flee, I said defend. Ah, oh, they're dead! That was my. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is about to be so bad. Oh man, this is not awesome. Okay, let's go. Depending on my weakest characters to pull us to safety. Oh, <laughs> of course, run! Run! You have got to go. Run! Run! Ah, uh, I'm glad I just saved. Ah! Here. Two hundred? It costs forty dollars to revive Vivi. Uh, but you know what? You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Alright, almost back to this awful cave. Okay, let's feel like I should. 
monsters. Oh, please be good. Oh, piss. Ah, let's blast them. Let's blaze them. We'll try it. Oh my gosh, they are strong. And they killed him. Oh, that is garbage. Oh, man. Let's keep her alive. Let's blast them again with fire up. Oh! Dang it! Can I flee? I don't think I can flee. Ah! Are you kidding me? Okay. Take two. They really want to kill Fisher, don't they? And they succeeded. I don't need them all to live. I just need one to live. Well, we got the crown, baby! That was the boss of the dungeon, huh? Still no Mystic Key, but then we will call it a night. Key Key! Here we are. Oh no! <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. And I did, I didn't even heal my dude. I am Astos, King of the Dark Elves. Well, we are definitely gonna die. Are you kidding me? Why didn't I go? Lift him up. With the combined power of the crown you now hold and the crystal I already possess, I will become the true elf king. It, it, king, it is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. Well, I bet you can, because we are like ravaged over here. Gah! Wait! You big dumb. This sucks. That really sucked. Oh my. Death? Oh man, this guy. I really could use that fourth party member. God, that sucks. I got him! <laughs> what? <laughs> Who needed Fisher? Oh, hey buddy. I needed you. Oh, I needed you. I'm sad you died. I obtained the crystal eye, and that belongs to Matoya. Mm. Heck yeah. We did some work tonight. I cannot believe that I beat that guy. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's. Woo! What a night. Um, cool. So like the thing that I keep thinking about, like oh, with this, this particular playthrough, um, is that, gosh, things seem to be going so quickly and there doesn't seem to be like an overarching story or anything um, other than, hey, there's these crystals, but we haven't seen the crystals yet. We just got Matoya's eye, um, which is crazy. One thing that I do keep thinking about, because uh, like one of the reasons that I do this and the reason why people like interact with me on here on Twitter is because of kind of the inspiration standpoint of it. And I keep thinking about that bridge scene where they were like, we're going to do our part to fulfill the prophecy. And that just like hits and resonates. Like there is a prophecy and it's about hope and there's about goodness and all this stuff. And yeah, it's gonna come true, but we're gonna do our part to do that. Uh, we're gonna do our part to make it um, a reality. And I, I just think that is such a cool sort of message, you know? Um, 
for people of faith and people like me, um, you know, religious uh, people, that that is just one of those things that's like, you know, I hear all the time, you know, I've read the end of the book, the Bible, and, you know, hey, we win. And that's great and all, and that's certainly a big hope, but that scene with the bridge just really is embodied, or it really portrays and represents so much of what we see, like in the Bible and stuff, that's like, yeah, um, God is at work, in the end we win, but um, it's time for you to do your part as well. Um, You bring the kingdom, um, you bring hope and goodness and all that kind of stuff wherever you are. It's kind of like uh, there's an author, Mark Batterson, who says, um, we pray like it depends on God and we work like it depends on us. And I, I, that just really hit me tonight when I was thinking about that bridge scene. Uh, so um, anyway, for whatever that's worth, um, regardless of whatever hope you might have or whatever you believe about the coming kingdom or goodness or any of that stuff, um, Let's do our part um, to fulfill that prophecy. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great night, and uh, we will see you next time. We'll continue picking up where Matoya's eye is returned to her at last. All right. Take it easy. Have a good night.